Now, there were just 10 days to go until the general election. The fate of Yorkshire's red wall hangs in the balance. Labour is surging ahead in opinion polls, but that's not stopping five candidates, including the incumbent Miriam Cates, from battling it out for Peniston and Stocksbridge. Our political correspondent, Charanpreet Kara has been speaking to them about the places that inspire them to represent this constituency so that you can get to know them better. Peniston and Stocksbridge was once a central brick in Yorkshire's Red Wall. We've made history here in South Yorkshire tonight. In 2019, that crumbled and the seat turned blue. Now, five candidates are battling to take control. I asked each of them to show me a corner of the constituency that's influenced their decision to stand. Where are we and why are we here? So we're in Coronation Park in Uterbridge. And when I first became a councillor, one of the big issues was around this park, around flooding. This park flooded very badly in 2007. And we got together as councillors to save the park. And that's really what inspired me to go to the next step in, in politics, to stand to be elected as an MP. You won that campaign in 2019, but this is traditionally a red wall seat. And given the national Conservative campaign, do you think it's going to go back to being part of Labour's red wall? Actually, in 2017, Labour only won by a thousand votes here. In fact, uh, it was very, very close. So I think it's very mixed and people are floating voters more now than they used to be. Um, and certainly on the doorstep, I'm not finding anybody who's excited about voting Labour. She's still at the Hoping to excite that electorate, Marie Tidball is Labour's candidate here. We meet in Silston at a memorial remembering the 26 children killed in 1838 when the Husker pit flooded. When I was at school in Peniston, I had to do a history project on, on a, something that had happened locally. And I did a project on the Husker Pit disaster that led to the 1842 Mines Act. And that was something that just showed me the power um, that politics, that the law could have in improving the conditions of people's lives. So you believe that politics can change the lives of children here in Peniston and Stocksbridge, but some people have criticised the Labour Party for not being bold enough with its plans to do that. We have a situation after 14 years of the Conservative government where they have broken our economy. Labour and the Conservatives have clashed throughout this campaign. But are their tactics convincing voters? Could I roll dice to the side? At this weekly games night in Peniston, some feel it's the politicians who are playing games. This one is a powerful shapeshifter. I think they are quite like shapeshifters. They just say what they want, um, what they think the people want to hear, just so that they can win the election and get in power. We love misfortune. Well, I see you've just been dealt the wheel of misfortune. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea which party could change Peniston's fortune? Um, honestly, I couldn't say. There's not much of a choice uh, between the parties that are out there. Though. If I, if well, what Ava and Minnie are trying to do in this game is take out their opposition and win points along the way. It's a little bit like the campaign trail. Well, here in Peniston and Stocksbridge, it's traditionally been seen as a two-horse race between Labour and the Conservatives. But this time round, there are five candidates all navigating treacherous terrain. One of those candidates is Liberal Democrat councillor Robert Rees, who met me in his Ecclesfield ward. It's the place where if I go and knock on doors, I get the response, you're all as bad as each other. Or I vote every year and nothing changes. And as someone who's involved in politics, that hurts because I want people to be involved in politics. I want people to engage with it. The Lib Dems aren't targeting many seats across Yorkshire. How are you going to persuade people to vote for change when you're not actually going to have many MPs representing Yorkshire in the House of Commons? Yeah, there, there is a chance I might not win. There is The resources are going elsewhere. But I don't want to refuse people the opportunity to vote for something rather than against something at this general election. While Robert Rees knows what it's like to fight an election, Edward Dillingham is new to politics. His motivation to run for Reform UK comes closer to home. He asked to meet me in his back garden. This is where my family live. This is where my daughter was born, just over there. And this is the reason why I am running for Parliament. You know, immigration affects everything. And stopping all these negatives coming into our country is what the British people want. You just described immigrants as negatives, but many of the people coming here are on work visas and so positively contributing to the economy. 
mass immigration makes people poorer through GDP per head. From gardens to green spaces to meet the Green Party's Andy Davis. This is uh, Greno Woods. It's one of the places I feel kind of most connected to nature. And I feel that kind of symbolises in a way what I want for society. Is this focus on nature and the climate just for the privileged? No, absolutely not. I think it's quite the opposite. The mental and physical well-being benefits that that brings, it saves the country money on um, public services. Enjoying those benefits with their horses Big Tom and Shandy, Annie and Linda feel passionately about the importance of this election. The environment is a really, really important thing for us. I mean, we're out three times a week, aren't we, in, in these woods? The infrastructure of the country has just hit rock bottom. Doctors, dentists, bin collections. I haven't decided who I'm voting for, but I know who I'm not voting for, and that's the Tory party. As candidates and voters look to protect the places they care about, the political landscape of Peniston and Stocksbridge may be set to change. Sharon Preet, the carer, ITV News. Thanks very much to Sharon Preet. Well, a reminder of the candidates you've just heard from in Peniston and Stocksbridge. Here they are. Polls open at 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, July the 4th and close at 10 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget you'll need that all-important photo ID with you, otherwise you won't be able to vote.